I'm Zane Skinner. I work here at Hard Scrabble Farms in Delaware, Ohio. We farm soybeans and corn, but we've been soybeans for the last six years or so. I'm Jackie Smith. I'm the Ag and 4-H educator here at Delaware County OSU Extension. Since we've done soybeans for the last six years, we're going to try fungicide treatment for any diseases that might be in the soil. We have a control treatment where we have no product going on. We have a ground applied treatment of fungicide on soybeans. And we have a aerial applied fungicide treatment on soybeans via a drone. Uh, farmers should conduct research to see if there's maybe a more beneficial uh, return. In order to expand their knowledge base and to potentially gain profit and even yield, it's a great idea for farmers to continue to do on-farm research studies themselves or even partner with us. Here, we've had a continuous soybean rotation for multiple years. And this year's growing conditions really could line up for some disease pressure. So this fungicide treatment is going to be a great trial that we have to see if it is indeed effective against diseases that we have out here in our soybean plots. Since all the smoke from Canada has uh, came down here, uh, we might be putting this fungicide on to maybe stop any diseases that stop the beans from growing. In order to truly understand if a product is working or not working, we need to be sure that we test it over and over again. If we get the same result that we get at spot one than we do in spot two and spot three, we have higher confidence that we can say that this product is working. If we only run a single pass, how, how do we know for sure that that is indeed the product that is giving us a different yield? For this trial, we had three treatments. Our control that had no fungicide applied, an aerial application of fungicide via a spray drone, and a ground application of fungicide. The fungicide was applied at a rate of eight ounces per acre at R3. The treatments were replicated three times across the field. The growing conditions started out rough with a decreased sunlight from the Canadian wildfires and the dry conditions in June. After that rough start, the growing season improved. Opposite of what we thought what would happen, no visual differences were seen between any of the treatments. The beans were all ripe within one to two days of each other. The average of the control treatments of the trial were 70.34 bushels per acre. The average for the aerial treatments was 72.31 bushels per acre. And the average for the ground treatment was 72.93 bushels per acre. Given the variability in each of the trial treatments, these results are not statistically significant from each other. Money talks, even if it doesn't say that much. Accounting in the application and the product costs, the aerial application treatment had an expense of $36.86 per acre. And the ground application treatment had an expense of $31.56 per acre. Taking a cash price of $12.30 from a local elevator on the day of harvest, we can see the difference in the return on investment. We can see that the aerial application lost $12.64 per acre compared to the control. In contrast, that ground application returned a whole 25 cents above the control. In summary, this study showed that in this season's conditions, that a fungicide treatment did not show a sizable return. Technology has truly, truly advanced and helped us, specifically in our educator roles. As we go through, doing on-farm research is much, much simpler when we talk with farmers. They're able to share their data with us via email rather than us potentially having to come out and, and crunch all those numbers ourselves. All of these programs that are out there are able to get us some of this data in a very timely manner. Technology has expanded over the last couple years because uh, we can just go back, because we got RTK now, we can just go back over top of the beans and not smash them down with the sprayers. Want to learn more? Visit the link on screen to get your copy of this year's eFields report.